Hello guys, TM here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Monster Crown, which is a turn based RPG adventure game. Now, before I get into the review, I quickly want to mention that I was given a review copy in order to make this video. However, my opinions will still remain objective in order to further improve the game and bring awareness to my audience. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the review. The story of Monster Crown is that while helping our father with the farm, he rewards us with a comic book. We fill out a quiz at the back of it and have a chance to receive a monster. After a week, we receive our monster and are encouraged by our parents to begin an adventure where we travel and stop calamities from happening. Once we start our adventure, we move out to the farm where we find monsters roaming around. I really enjoyed this feature as it gives a more realistic feeling in this world as you try to escape from the monsters. What makes this a even better mechanic is the fact that there are some very dangerous monsters that end up one-shotting our allies if we explore further ahead from the path. This brings a lot of fear and tension in this game as the monsters literally behave and act like actual monsters that attempt to kill us. When we interact with the monsters, a transition will occur where a battle will commence. I find and this part of the game very disappointing as the attacks have no real variety to them. Almost every attack deals direct contact damage to the enemy and the only different type of attack I could find was one that has a 50% chance to deal infection damage. There are also no stats on the attack which ruined a lot of strategies and uniqueness each attack could have had. Monster Crown also has a feature where switching monsters results in a bonus of damage. I personally didn't use this feature as I didn't like the idea of switching monsters especially with the fact that two hits can result in a monster fainting. A part that I liked is before starting a battle we are able to choose our monster. This meant that there were no accidents where the leader of my monster was automatically put in a fight I didn't want it to be any part of. However, I feel like this could be further improved as we are only shown the names of our monster and not what they look like, which made me choose the wrong monster by accident at times. This game is very difficult in situations as difference of a single level can result in one attack doing 50% of damage. Hopefully they lower the total damage amount as I feel like the battle can be finished in two attacks and I don't really have a chance to strategize against the enemy. The elements in Monster Crown are unlike I've ever seen before as other games usually have elements like water, fire and earth. While this game has brute, unstable, will, relentless and malicious. I found these elements to be better than the previous I mentioned as I feel like they fit and belong more in this mature game. I do hope we get more than 5 elements in the future as we end up getting duplicates elements in our party of 8. As we go through the world we are able to find shops, camps, allies in our journey. The shops allow us to buy items such as packs, potions, camps and other items. The packs are what allow us to capture monsters, while the camps are used to rest and heal our monsters. We gain this cash by defeating monsters, finding loot or by completing objectives. Later in the game we are able to breed our monsters which is hands down the best part of the game. The breeding system in my opinion is also the best I've played within its genre. We are able to select two monsters where after breeding we obtain an egg. Approximately a minute later that egg hatches where we get a monster. However, the best part is that there are a crazy amount of monsters that are able to come out of an egg that have their own unique color palette and look to them. We are also able to change the color of a monster by changing the secondary monster to breed. The visuals in Monster Crown could be a make or break for some people as it has a very old school GPA style of look to it. I personally love the art style as it reminded me of my childhood where I used to play Pokemon Red all of the time. In conclusion, if you are a big fan of games where you collect monsters and breed them, then I highly recommend you guys to play this game. However, if you are interested in collecting monsters and battling with them, then I sadly cannot recommend this game as the battle mechanics are very underwhelming and not fun to play with. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you are interested in the game or want to check it out, I have a link in the description to its Steam page. I hope you liked my review and be sure to expect more coming. I'll see you guys in the next video. TM out.